to review parts of plants. This is a review from our Zoom class on the other day. And go ahead and take out your science notebook and let's continue where we left off. So make sure you wrote down the objective. I can name the different parts of a plant and explain your jobs. By the end of the today's lesson, you're able to tell me the different parts of a plant and tell me their functions. Explain your jobs. What do they do? So go ahead. Whenever you see the notebook and pencil emoji in this slide, there will be an indicator for you to write down these notes. Part to the plant. So this is how it needs to look in your notebook. With the title on the top, your objective right underneath, I can name the different parts of a plant and explain their drops. And then we're going to do that, fold. remember that folded sheet that we folded in half? Make sure you folded it inward towards the rings of the notebook. And on one side, you're going to write functions of the plant. And then we're going to start with the roots and what they are. So the roots hold the plant in the soil so it doesn't blow away. And they also take in water. So remember, we call them like an anchor and a heavy weight holding them down to the earth. Because if they weren't holding them, what would happen? Due to the water, they will be blown away. And then the other side of the sheet, a column, you're going to draw an illustration. An illustration means a drawing. So we're going to draw the roots. And make sure it's beautifully colored and neat. Take your time. Do not rush this assignment. You want to have beautiful, neat, colorful notes. So there's different parts of the plants. We have the seeds, the leaves, the stems, the fruits, the flowers, and the roots. And in this picture, the, they show all these different parts and components. Whenever you see the notebook with the pencil emoji, that's an indicator for you to write them down in your notes. If you see the hand emoji that's drawing the sketch, that means it's for you to draw this in your notebook. So let's talk about the roots. The roots hold the plant in the soil so it doesn't blow away. And they also take in the water. So they're receiving the water from the soil, right? And the water and the minerals, everything from the soil, and they're taking it up. And the roots are kind of like a paperweight or an anchor that holds them down to the earth, into the soil. And if it would, roots didn't hold them, the plants will be vulnerable to different types of weather, their environment, their surrounding areas, right? Because if it doesn't hold it down, then the plants will be blown and just scattered everywhere. Take a look at the picture and use these as examples to draw the illustration in your notebook. Remember, the word illustration means drawing. Next, we have the stem. The stem holds up the plant and carries water from the roots to the leaves. Here we have a picture of a stem and the flower. And then to the left, we have another picture that further labels what the, the different parts of the stem. So because the stem holds the plant upright, it carries the water that's scattered from the roots in the soil and it takes into the leaves. Then the leaves use the light from the sun and carbon dioxide from the air and the water taken in by the roots to make food for the plant. Remember, this whole process is called photosynthesis. And you can see that. Make sure you capture both illustrations for the leaves because we do need that close up to see that the sun is capturing and the carbon dioxide is capturing from the leaf and using that water to make food for the plant. And then we have the plant flowers that makes the seed. Remember how we talked about the sunflower and we use that as an example. How the seeds are in the middle of the bulb of the flower and those seeds produce many other sunflowers. And also a great snack if I do say so myself. So let's talk about the dandelion flower and the seeds. Take a look at the picture. Here we see the dandelion flower and the different components and parts of the flower. We have the round seed head, the flower, the hollow stem, and the jagged leaves and the long taproot that holds it down to the soil. So 
when we see the around the sea, like the white little fuzziness, those are the seeds. And when you blow the dandelion out, you're actually blowing the seeds and you're scattering them everywhere. That's why for sometimes we see the dandelions grow in all locations, like through cracks of cement or in the middle of the street or between the fences or buildings and bricks. And that's because the seeds get trapped there and they find their nutrients to continue their growth. Now it's your turn. So make sure you take a pictures of your notes and you upload it to Seesaw. And make sure you draw and label all the sketches and parts of a, a parts of a plant. Once you are done, you will glue it to the left hand side of your notebook and take a video of your interactive notebook and upload it to Seesaw. So we will not be doing any gluing today. So just make sure you take a photo of it and upload it to Seesaw. And you will also need to upload a video of doing our dance that we did for our plants. I'm hoping you remember.